Hydrogenated vegetable oil, or HVO, is emerging as a sustainable alternative to traditional diesel in the construction industry. With a growing emphasis on reducing carbon footprints, HVO offers a promising solution. To give this some context, anywhere between 1 and 15% of a project's emissions could come from on-site diesel use in plant, with a further 5 to 10% coming from material deliveries to site. More widely, emissions from plant and equipment account for about 1% of UK's total greenhouse gas emissions. But what exactly is HVO and how does it compare to conventional fuels? In this video, we will explore the pros and cons of using HVO in construction, the certifications to look for, and the policies of some major UK construction organisations regarding diesel and HVO. HVO is a renewable diesel produced from waste vegetable oils and animal fats. Unlike traditional biodiesel, HVO undergoes a hydro-treatment process, resulting in a high-quality, clean-burning fuel. So what are some of the advantages of using HVO instead of diesel? One of the main advantages is its performance. As a fuel, HVO offers better combustion efficiency, leading to reduced engine wear and maintenance. It has a high cetane number, indicating better combustion quality, leading to smoother engine operation, reduced noise and lower emissions of unburned hydrocarbons. HVO's clean burning properties significantly reduce particulate production up by up to 84%, which helps to improve the engine cleanliness and prolong the lifetime of emission control systems where they're fitted, as well as decrease the aging of engine oils. Additionally, as HVO does not react with water or oxygen, storage of the fuel avoids sludge buildup and diesel bug, so prevents filters from blocking in contaminants from entering your equipment. HVO has better cold flow properties compared to conventional diesel, which means it performs better in low temperature conditions. This reduces the risk of fuel gelling and ensures reliable engine operation in cold climates. It's also compatible with diesel engines. HVO can be used as a drop-in replacement for diesel without the need for engine modifications, and this makes it a convenient alternative for fleet operators and individuals looking to switch to a more sustainable fuel without incurring additional costs. HVO provides some important environmental benefits too. It reduces greenhouse gas by up to 90% compared to traditional diesel. It produces lower levels of particulates and NOx, contributing to improved air quality. And it can also help avoid waste oils becoming gutter oils that can get into the human feed chain. However, there are some disadvantages of using HVO instead of regular diesel. From an environmental point of view, increasing the use of HVO may lead to a risk of indirectly changing land use towards more palm oil production and its byproducts, used either for animal feed or to dilute unknown cooking oil for HVO. Cost is also a factor. HVO is currently more expensive than conventional diesel, which may impact project budgets. And availability could also be an issue. Whilst the production of HVO is increasing, it isn't as widely available as traditional diesel, and that potentially could cause supply challenges. As a fuel, HVO has a lower energy density than diesel, which could result in marginally higher fuel consumption too. When sourcing HVO, it's crucial to ensure that it meets certain standards and certifications to guarantee its quality and sustainability. You can look for the International Sustainability in Carbon Certification, or ISCC, which ensures the sustainability and traceability of the biomass and bioenergy is assured. The Renewable Energy Directive Certification, which ensures compliance with the EEU's sustainability criteria for biofuels, and compliance with EN 15940, which is a European standard for paraffinic diesel fuels, including HVO. Many major UK construction organisations are taking steps to reduce their environmental impact by adopting HVO instead of diesel. For example, the Construction Leadership Council have called for a 78% reduction of diesel use across all sites by 2035. The Mayor of London has mandated zero emissions throughout London by the 1st of January 2040 for non-road mobile machinery. National highways are aiming for all construction plant and compounds to be zero emissions by 2030. And on HS2, all sites must be diesel-free by 2029. Whilst hydrogenated vegetable oil could be seen as a temporary solution and a transition fuel to help hit targets on the route to low and zero carbon power, including battery, electric and hydrogen, it is paving the way for a greener construction industry. Whilst its use presents some challenges, the environmental and performance benefits can make it a viable alternative to diesel. 
By understanding the certifications and policies surrounding HVO, you can make some informed decisions and support more sustainable construction practices.